Yes, good morning. The public hearing starts at 1.30 and it is worth more than 640 million dollars. You heard that right, 640 million dollars, and it would actually end all other civil litigation regarding the Flint water crisis. More than 100 civil lawsuits filed in state and federal courts by thousands of Flint residents could be decided today by a federal judge, all stemming from the city of Flint switching its water supply in 2014 to the Flint River, causing many residents to get lead poisoning and Legionnaire's disease. Under Governor Snyder, during a state takeover, the city of Flint turned off Detroit water to save money, and instead free water from the Flint River was used, but turned out to be more corrosive and not properly treated. Seven Action News broke news of the settlement in August. Of the $641 million, the state is on the hook for $600 million. Last week, the state legislature approved borrowing the money to finance it, and it's believed to be the largest payout in the state's history if approved. The other $41 million would be paid by three other defendants in the case, City of Flint, McLaren Regional Medical, and Roe Professional Services. Nearly 80% of the money will go to children who were under the age of 17 at the time, according to the state attorney general. This would end any other litigation. It allows Flint residents to move forward in a positive way, uh, getting out of the mindset of being victims, but more of as victors. Uh, and that's where we need to move as a community. Also, Flint's Flint City Council must still vote on the payout by December 31st, according to attorneys for the city. As for that public hearing uh, in her news release, Attorney General Dana Nessel strongly encourages Flint residents to catch that public hearing via live stream, which again starts at 1:30. Reporting live this morning, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.